Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to test all the new talents in Advanced Server. If you don't know yet, a new talent system has been introduced and it gives more freedom in customizing your heroes. I won't be testing the tier 1 talents because they only give specific stats. For tier 2, let's begin with Homeworld Bound. This talent lets you immediately recover HP and mana right after you recall at the base. You no longer have to walk in circles while waiting for your HP to fill up. Homeworld Bound only affects HP and mana. Energy is not included. This means it won't work for funny users. Same for those heroes with multiple HP bars like Masha and Axborg. Only the first bar is refilled. And because of this, Claude's second skill and recall combo can now work properly. Hey there, Dexter says you're ugly, not what? me. That's just cheating, right? With this trick, Claude can just hide in a bush and then come back with full HP in a matter of seconds. Next is the talent Deadly Dart. It will increase the damage of your next attack after using a dash or blink skill. This icon will appear after dashing. It's like Lancelot's passive skill, but it only applies on the next attack you make. The damage increase works with basic attack and skill. Cyclone Eye can trigger the effect. One once dashing basic attack can easily activate the talent every time. Next is the talent Vampiric Touch. The talent will heal when you deal damage to an enemy that oh, has a higher HP percentage than you. Once your HP is higher than your target, it will stop working like that? this. It has a cooldown of 3 seconds and it only works on enemy heroes. Basic attack and skills oh, can activate sorry. the heal. This is good for sustained heroes like Ruby I'm and Yuzo. Next is the talent Chrono Master. When your hero achieves 20% CDR, you will get 5% more and it will also add another 5% to your cooldown reduction limit. So instead of the normal 40% CDR limit, it will become 45%. And if we add Enchanted Talisman, your CDR limit can reach 50%. There's a lot of heroes that can benefit from this talent. Heroes with charged skills like Lilia and Angela can spam their skills more often. Some heroes that are dependent on Enchanted Talisman can now replace it for higher damage items. Next talent is called Blast Fortress. It gives 5 physical and magic defense for each nearby enemy hero. So if there are 2 enemies, you will get plus 10 defense stat. What's good with this talent is the range. At this spot, I was able to activate the extra defense stats. Next talent is called Giant Slayer. It gives you 10% damage increase when dealing damage to enemies that has a higher current HP than you. So it's the same as Vampiric Touch where HP is based on percentage. Here is an example. So Hanabi's normal damage is 165. The talent is not working yet because I have a higher HP percentage than Hilda. Now let's lower my HP. So my damage went up from 165 to now 181 because my HP is now lower than my target. And now my damage has returned to 165 because my HP became higher than Hilda's. So it only works when your HP is lower than your target. Next talent is Wilderness Blessing. It will give you 15% movement My in the jungle and river when you are out of combat. It's like Rapid Woods but only on limited area. And it also works on the enemy's jungle section. It's probably a good talent for roamers. Next is Fortune Finder. It will give you 400 gold after 4 minutes. There will be a countdown timer at the start of the game. Once it reaches 0, you get 400 gold. After getting the gold, this talent becomes useless because it doesn't repeat the process. This means you can only get gold once for the entire game.
Next is the talent, Perpetual Presence. Your respawn timer goes down by 12% for every one minute that you're alive. I tested this out several times and it's not working yet. I tried dying for the first time after 9 minutes but my respawn timer is the same as the enemies. I did a few more tests but I still had the same death timer compared to the enemy that's not using this talent. The next talents are pretty much the same as the ones we have at official server. Seasoned Hunter is the same as Demon Slayer from the Jungle Emblem. You still get increased damage on Turtle, Lord and Tower, but they removed the damage reduction. Next is Essence Reaper, which is a weaker version of Life Drain from the Physical Emblem. You only get 2% max HP heal when killing a minion. Bargain Hunter is also a lesser version of the custom mage talent Mystery Shop. Instead of a 10% discount, it will only give 5%. Weapons Master will now increase both magic and physical attack stat, but for only 8%. On the official server, it gives 15% physical attack. Spellmaster will reduce a battle spell's cooldown by 15%. It's the same as the talent Pull Yourself Together but without the respawn timer. Eternal Bloodlust is the same as Festival of Blood but without the initial 8% spell vamp. You will get 1% spell vamp from each kill and it has a limit of 12%. Unbending Will is the same as before but with a lower limit of 10%. And those are all the tier 2 talents. Now let's move on to tier 3. First talent is called Battle Frenzy. When dealing damage to enemy heroes, it will give you 2% physical and magic lifesteal for 6 seconds. It stacks up to 8 times and once you reach full stacks, you get 6% damage increase. It works like War Axe but instead of damage, it gives lifesteal. And you can only get stacks from enemy heroes. Next talent is called Cosmic Blitz and it summons a meteor on the enemy after using a damage skill. It has a 15 second cooldown and damage skills with level. This has an area of effect which means it can hit multiple enemies. Next talent is Arcane Furor. When you receive damage more than 20% of your max HP, the talent will slow nearby enemies. That's minus 30% attack speed and 50% on movement speed. And it has a 3 second cooldown. It's a good counter for melee heroes. Next talent is called Temporal Rain. Once you use an ultimate, the cooldown of your other skills will be lowered by 65%. It's good for combo reliant heroes because it will lessen their downtime. With Eudora, you only have to wait for 3 seconds before her stun is available again. Normally, that stun seconds. To change the world. The talent has a 20 second cooldown which is short enough for most ultimate. Fleeting time is a good complement item for temporal rain. Next talent is quantum charge and it's the same as the marksman talent electro flash. The only difference is that it extends your basic attack range. This red line is the extended range. After a basic attack, it will return to normal. The enemy can also see the extended range. Next talent is Immortal Fury and it's the improved version of Impure Rage. The talent will now heal you for 3% of your maximum HP. So you get extra damage, mana region, and heal. But in exchange, they had to increase its cooldown from 3 to now 5 seconds. Next talent is Glorious Dominion. It's the same as the tank talent Brave Smite where you get healed when applying crowd control on the enemy. The new effect is the added defense stats that lasts for 3 seconds. You get magic and physical defense each time you activate the talent. Next are the talents that are almost the same as the ones on official server. Deadly Alliance is a new name for the support talent focusing more where your allies deal more damage on your target. 
Master Assassin is the new name for the assassin talent High and Dry. No changes on its effect. Conclusive Blast gets to keep its name and effect. Killing Spree is almost the same except for the stronger heal effect that spread over 3 seconds. Coin Collector is the new name for the sport talent Avarice. You still get 10 gold when attacking an enemy. Fatal Snare is the old marksman talent Weakness Finder. No changes on its effect. Last one is Lethal Ignition. It works the same as the Custom Mage talent Magic Worship where you need to deal damage 3 times to trigger the burn effect. The difference is it's easier to activate because of the lower damage requirement. And the damage is now adaptive which means the burn effect can either be magic or physical depending on your hero. So those are all the talents in the new system. The game became more interesting, right? There's a ton of combinations to make because remember, you can combine the talents from tier 2 and 3. Imagine Ruby with Vampiric Touch and Battle Frenzy. How about the combination of Chrono Master and Temporal Rain on Cyclops? I also like how every hero can now use talents that were limited to specific roles because of the emblem stats that comes with it. Example is Mystery Shop. Previously, it was limited to magic heroes because of the stats from its emblem. Now everyone can use the discount including the marksman class. But remember, we're still in the testing phase. There's going to be a lot of changes in the upcoming updates. One thing I hope they don't forget is Claude's new ability to steal HP from the base. So what talent combination will you use on your main hero? Share your ideas in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.